That's in the air. Someone's going to settle under it. This could be the end of Chandapur. It is. Captain takes the catch. And Chandapur's fine innings is finished. And is that the end for the West Indies now? 159 for six. He had to take the chance. Yes, he had to because the asking rate was still over seven. The previous over he had uh, played a similar looking shot for a six. This time I think he got just a little too close uh, to the ball. And uh, Harbhajan Singh delighted. He was uh, quite naturally upset that he'd been hit for a six of the pre in the previous over. Chandapal trying to repeat that shot. Skying the ball to mid wicket. Caught by the Indian captain Ganguly. West Indies now 159 for six. Direct hit, leg by signal, appeal made. Eddie Nichols not even going to refer it. He was not in any position also to uh, see that. Didn't really make the effort. Now he's referring it. See where Eddie Nichols is. He's asked for the like, but look where Eddie Nichols is. He's not even made the effort to get anywhere close uh, to being in a position where he can judge whether it was uh, a run out or not. Now he's asked the third umpire to come in. Red lights on, Dylan didn't make it, and Billy Doctrow agrees that Yuvraj Singh's spot-on throw has accounted for the West Indies' seventh wicket, with Murd Dylan going. That's up in the air. Third man coming underneath it. And that's excellently taken by Hagodan Singh. That's a wonderful catch. The ball was going away from him. He kept his cool, kept his eyes on the ball, and has come up with a brilliant catch. I'll tell you what, that went very high, and it would have been swirling around up there. Just look at it. It's pretty windy here at the Queen's Park Oval, but Hagodan Singh kept his eye on it. That is a wonderful catch. He wasn't perfectly balanced. To reach out in front of him. Oh my, that is important. It's vital. But more importantly, it has been taken. That is a match winner. 184 for eight. 184 for eight. Corey Collimore comes out to the middle. Yeah. He's very good at this out of the We saw that. In the game in Barbados, once again, he's cleaned up Collymore. In fact, Pedro Collins looking for the big ambitious drive. The ball sneaking through, perfect Yorker. And India, one wicket away. Well, it's the perfect way to bowl through the tail end. That's full and swinging in. 184 for nine. And now Cameron Cuffey is out there to try and avoid a hat-trick. Doesn't get it right. And that's a tremendous hit. Cameron Coffey has brought the crowd to their feet. Oh, hello, Ashish Nero. One handed as well, but he threw in the kitchen sink at that. You wouldn't have seen many better shots today. He's been played by the number 11. He'll go down fighting. 57 of 47. Is it possible? Well, can we expect a Yorker here? The tempo Yorker up in the air. And it's all over. Ajit Agarkar has taken the catch. India win game three. In fact, game five and win the series 2 1. You can see there at the top of the order, West Indies had lost half their side for literally nothing. But then Chandra Paul, blazing innings, 51 from just 40 balls. He got good support from Jacobs in making 36 from 31. In the end, West Indies falling short. Bowled out for 191. The Indian bowling 
was very disciplined. They started off well today with a new ball. Nera picking up a couple of wickets. Zaid Khan bowled well too. And then uh, Harbhajan Singh and Ajit Agarkar got into the act. That was a good spell from both of them because that put the brakes on the scoring. That's when West Indies started losing wickets. Three wickets for Agarkar and two wickets for Harbhajan Singh. So that's the story of the day. India winning the toss, deciding to bat first, making 260. Tendulkar the top scorer with 65. West Indies in reply, 191. Three wickets for Agarkar, two for Nehra. India winning by 56 runs.